Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here, as always. Uh, about a week ago, uh, somebody commented on one of my update videos asking if I have a build video for my archive. And I haven't, but he expressed interest in using this design for, uh, like, armor for Batcave build. And then the other day, somebody else also mentioned something about using it as the basis for a Hall of Armor build that they're doing. Like, Hall of Armor Tower, I think, is what they mentioned. And, like, I'm super excited that people are seeing my design and being like, dude, that's really cool, I want to use that. Uh, so I'm just going to take a chunk of this off and uh, show you guys how it's built. Um, the only issue is this is a four-wide section, which will not fit a minifigure. Let's see. Let's show you with Han Solo here. So as you can see, the shoulders don't fit in here because it's not wide enough. So if you're going to be doing like minifigure size, I'd suggest using the one by six. And it's actually a very easy conversion. You just, instead of the uh, one by four arches that I've got in here, you just use the six, one by six arch. And then you'll have to do a little bit different here on the bottom, but I'll show that in a second. So this is the majority of that. And there's the base. I'm going to pull these off here. Second there. Okay, so. The whole build is just a repetition of this, except for this side wall here. Um, I'll show you how I'm planning on terminating that edge there. Uh, but it is literally just a 1x4 brick, two 1x4, no, sorry, not a 1x4, a 2x4 brick, two 1x4 arches, and then these are one by fours with, I believe in BrickLink it's log profiles, but if you get it through the um, pick a brick system, they're called Palisade bricks. And then if you are doing the one by six arch, you're gonna want to replace this panel with the one by four panel, and that will span the whole width because the one by six, you're just adding two extra spaces onto it, and the one by four is, you know, two plus two. Uh, the back piece, I, I think they do four by fours of this. I think this is a, a two by three. It's a it's a one by two by three, I believe. I don't know if they make these in that size, but you could just take two of those. The only thing you'll have to do is change how it connects on the bottom there. Uh, so that is the top, and then the very top, I have this four by four panel. I hope I'm making sense. I feel like I'm just rambling here. Um, but then below that, to connect here, you have a one by three that goes across and that connects the two modules together. And then right behind that, you have a one by one round and that is to facilitate the curving. Because you see there, if you had a regular brick, you wouldn't be able to curve. And that's the reason why we also have this piece here and that piece there. It's to facilitate bending your brick. It gives you enough movement. That's also why we have these palisade log bricks, is because that you can see the gap there in the front, you're able to curve it. And that's how you get that without causing undue stress on the bricks. Um, this design utilizes the actual 
built-in allowances that you get from these pieces. Um, and then underneath that is, well, behind it, I used one of these, you, you can just use a regular one by two, but you can see on the inside there, it matches. It just looks better. So that's more of an aesthetic choice. Then another brick underneath there, with the log. And then I use this little sconce piece. And so wherever you have a curve, you need to make sure, Sorry, not a curve. Wherever you have a regular brick, you need to make sure you've got something next to it that is rounded. Otherwise, you're going to be binding up. And then it attaches. Instead of this plate, you have two jumpers right here. And two 2x3 two tiles. And then you just repeat underneath it the same way. So you go from one down to the other, and it's diagonal. Um... And then in between is this. Um, for the top, you've got these. but It's just one log, a 1x4, and two 1x3s. And that goes down in between, right there, and fills in that gap. And it adds support for the next one, because this part right here is also this right here. Now, for under here, my purpose is, is I'm using this pedestal for a holocron. Um, but if you're doing, that just goes in there right there, um, goes into that stud hole there, and this has the three, um, you might be able to use, I don't know if they have it in the size, but you could use two, but if you do use two, you're going to have this piece right here, and you're going to have to figure out a different connection for that. You're not going to be able to use this because it'll be right there in the way. Um, but if you're planning on using this design wide enough for the minifigures, I would suggest down here, because you have the one by four in the back and you've got the four, the width in here would be four wide. I would suggest that for this, you use the one by three jumper plate with the two studs. Um, that should, like right here where this piece is, instead of that, you have that, and then you're, you're going to have these jumpers sticking out on the sides, on both sides. And that's only going to give you three stud wide on the inside. Um, so I'm not sure how you're going to do with the back with that. But this next one up where my lightsaber handle is, that I would suggest using the, like I said, the 1x3 with jumper with the two studs, and you'll be able to stand your minifigure on that spot, and it'll be recessed a bit. And then for the front here, you just take one, one by four, not sorry, one by one square tile. And then right next to it, on either side, you take a quarter circle tile. So there's going to be one on this side, one on the other side. And that will mimic the function of this piece you'll still be able to get that curve because now you've got even more of a curve and you'll be able to still curve that, but it'll be three wide. It's essentially what we're doing is making a larger one of this piece. This is a one by two. You just get a one by three. Um, I don't know if they make these in one by threes. I really don't think that's a thing because this is a relatively newer piece little half circle um, but you would be mimicking that as a three wide piece instead of just a one stud wide piece and that is that uh, on the top here I'm actually attaching oh goodness attaching these this is just more of an aesthetic choice for myself and it gives you some studs on the top but 
you don't have to do that. Uh, especially if this is going to be under something, you can just attach it to things with your studs. Um, you can tile that and have like one stud there, and, you know, stud here, stud there, and there, and attach it under things. Um, the base is going to be a little tricky. I'm going with, it's kind of hard to show you. It's so big. Piece is coming off. Um, it's going to be two by two and two by two. And then sort of like this. So in order to have it sitting on a flat surface to be sort of like waist height, how it would naturally be. I'm having uh, a one by four, not a one by four, a four by four plate there. You can see where this two by two is. Imagine it's all there. So you've got the two, um, the two, two, two by fours on each of these, except for the end one. Um, that'll have a, actually I'll show you that in a second. So except for the edges, you're going to have two two by fours, a one by four plate, and then it's going to be a one by three. But in the case of the bigger ones, you'd be using one by, or you'd be using two by sixes on the bottom. No, no, you wouldn't, because this is the same between. Yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, I'm getting all turned around. So these would be on the sides, and then the the uh, the bottom two by fours would be replacing this section here. So it'd be the centers. This is still going to be three uh, three studs wide. This is going to be four studs wide. And so yeah, that's the only thing you have to change is the the arch, the back panel, and then the width there. Um, that is going to be those, and then the bottoms will be connected by one by threes. You have to have a one by one round stud in the center. Um, and then a, a two by three there in the center. And then this part that I'm using there is going to be filling the gap right here because it is rounded. You got to make sure if you want a curve, you have to have a rounded piece next to a squared piece. Uh, and then terminating the sides. I actually just came up with this the other day. And so right here, I'm going to attach this down here. As you can see, I have a one by four with the studs on the side, and it's gonna be a one by four tile, and then a four by four, one of these. I don't have any spares, so I'm using this right here as sort of a, a prototype. And it's gonna fill that, and minus the studs, it's gonna be basically flush. You can see that, it's almost entirely flush there. get that attached come on and it's just you build one and you repeat and then you alternate and then it's just a lot of repetition however many you want and so it's going to be nice and flush there and then on the bottom you, you do the same thing but instead of a four by four you use another one by four tile right on the side there just to fill that gap And maybe at some point, once I get my archive built, I might do a little armor, armor stand sort of thing. It'd be a lot smaller than this. I'm not going to go nearly this big, but it wouldn't be bad. You'll be able to display your guys. And, uh... I hope I made that kind of clear enough. I still have a bunch of pieces I need to buy to finish this off. Let's get these back in there. Um, 
it is a little fragile until you get it mostly assembled. Oh, come on. <laughs> and then everything sort of holds it self in together. Here's the back. I like how uniform it is. Let's get this in here. Actually, pop that off. Get that in. Yeah, it is a little on the fragile side when everything's being put together because as I'm sure you can see, the top row is only held on to the bottom row by those two front jumper plates. And then these sections only held on by a single stud there. Anyways, um, if uh, Bug Maniac Roy and Worst Hour see this, I hope it makes sense to you guys the most. And I hope you enjoy this, and I hope if you do use this design, that it works for you, and it comes out looking great. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. This is actually a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Um, keep those comments coming. I really enjoy hearing uh, your guys' opinions. And uh, especially if you're like, oh, that's really cool. I want to use that. I want to know what you're uh, going to use it on. Anyways, see you guys. Bye-bye.